Hey everyone! Today I have something a little different. The Creality CP01. While it looks like a regular 3D printer, it's actually three machines in one. A 3D printer, a CNC machine, and a laser engraver. You know, I'm not one to read specs of the box. What matters is how it works in the real world. So let's unbox it and take a look. So here's the CP01 3D printer user manual. Two box. A spool of filament. The aluminum bed, three D printing head. The gantry frame. Kind of heavy. Some protective glasses. So tight. Uh, CNC engraving. The CNC engraving head. So tight has to be tight because otherwise when you ship it overseas there might be some problem this <laughs> this one probably is the tight tightest package i've ever unboxed what? This is the laser engraving head. So there are three functions in total, so three head. Uh, this is the main point. Okay, this print is not bad. You can see some stringy in here, uh, but 
over there there's some bridging issue but that's not the hardware issue that's something to do with the slicer settings uh, when the community comes up with a better slicing slicer settings it won't be an issue anymore um, but you gotta be aware this is not a perfect print out of the box you still need to take some time to dial the prints in but it's a fixable print so right now we are in the Creality workshop. This is their program for importing the GCO file in there for the CNC and laser engraving function. Let me show you how you do it. So if you have a, something you want to engrave, like I have a husky I want to engrave. So this is my husky. I import it. Now this is for laser and you know the size of the print volume is not huge this exists the best so we need to scale it down scale it down to yeah, yeah about that and then we put it at the corner you want to zoom in of course you can you can do that you see more clear see you can zoom in like this but the width and height is still the same it's just to uh, let you see it more clearly so let's go to export setting and um, this you don't have to this C and Z travel Z means how high they lift the nozzle and C and Z frequency is how deep it cut travel speed 60 seems great uh, C and laser let's make it slower 1 mm per second okay after that you're done you can just export gco your gco file husky one 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 and then save yay export gco finish then you just take it out and insert the sd card you can start engraving Okay, now let's get the laser head into position. Go to settings, move. All right, then we can engrave now. Check this out. It's nice and clean, but it uses dial laser and I'm not a big fan of dial laser, but you're okay with that? The result is not bad at all. Okay, now let's head on to the CNC engraver. For CNC, it's the same. CNC, you go to here, CNC. And what you do, I'm going just to use the same picture and we're just going to use the husky. But uh, for CNC, I will make it go faster. I will make it go like four, four millimeter per second. And then same, you go here, you go to export GCO, husky 222. And then you save, export GCO finish. And then you take out your SD card and then plug it in. Uh, but, and then you can set the Z height. 
you double the, uh, after you set the C high, you just double tap the uh, nozzle icon and then everything will just work. Right now, let's go back to the menu. And go to control, hack selection, CNC. Now we can select our file. As you saw, there are some flags in the spindle. Uh, we could deal with that by taking more passes. Overall, good enough. We all know about the problems with people getting unsubscribed and not being notified about videos. It's great if you can double check that and make sure you won't miss anything. But really, the best thing you can, you can do to help me out is repost my videos where other people will appreciate them. Okay, so CP01 pros and cons. Pros, rock solid platform, great build quality, first generation firmware that isn't buggy. Go reality, love to see it. All three tools were as expected. It's a good 3D printer in need of better slicer settings, a good laser dial engraver, and a usable CNC engraver. There are no major mechanical or firmware issues out of the box. It will work as advertised, which is good to see. You know often when it's a first generation machine, there are some bugs to iron out and sometimes it's just not, it's just flat, flat out unusable. Not the case here, it's ready to go. So yes, if you want a 3D printer slash CNC engraver slash laser engraver, the CPO one is a good bet and I can certainly recommend it. Cons, why? And this isn't specific to the CPO one, but all of these three in one machines. Why do we need this? The 3D printer CNC and laser engraver idea is a multi tool created by two makers, not two users. It's easy to manufacture, that doesn't mean it's very useful. It's a bit like selling a 3-in-1 circular saw, band saw, jigsaw. Yes, they technically do different things, but what are you going to make with that? A 3-in-1 saw, drill, and sander? Now that's something you can make a ton of stuff with. The CPO one is a fantastic platform, and I get the two choice for marketability given the success of similar machines. And it sounds good on paper, but I would love to see some more useful two heads. Keep the 3D printing, optimize the CNC software for PCB engraving, and offer a manual pick and place head. I do a lot of surface mount soldering work these days. Plenty of guys want to give it a shot, but their hands are not so steady. A manual plug and place head with a micro screw webcam and rotating suction tip would be cheap and let 
anyone plays parts with just their computer mouse. This combination would actually let you build a huge range of hardware projects from populated PC board to 3D printing enclosure, all on one compact machine. The great thing about the CPO one is, it looks like it can be open to third-party tool heads, and I'll certainly push Creality to make sure of this. There's a ton of potential applications for solid Cartesian framework that accepts interchangeable heads. Paste extruders for clay and cooking applications, pie pads for lab work is just endless, so a huge amount of potential here. I just don't think that the free tool heads currently available really do it justice. There you have it, thumbs up for the CPO one with the caveats that I would like it to be opened and I would like more tool heads with greater functionality. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.